Hello everyone, welcome to today's Sunday School. I'm Diana and I'm going to be your teacher today. But why don't we start with a prayer so that we can start off on the right foot with God, okay? Wherever you are, let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for giving us this opportunity to once again be united and for giving us the technology to do this during the times that we are living in. I ask that you please open our hearts and open our minds so that we can understand what you would like to tell us today. Dear Jesus Christ, we praise you. Amen. So I hope you guys are all doing great today. We have a really exciting lesson and it's titled Joshua and Caleb. And the reason we're going to be learning this story is because we're going to learn how to trust in God in every moment in our life, even when it's a little bit hard. So today we're going to meet two brave followers of God, Joshua and Caleb. They were brave followers because they heard God's instructions and decided to trust and obey God. They believed God would go with them and give them the land that God had promised. Now remember, during this time, the people that Moses had rescued were going towards the promised land. So let's dive in. The Lord now said to Moses, Send out men to explore the land of Canaan, the land I am giving to the Israelites. Send one leader from each of the twelve ancestral tribes. So Moses did just as God had commanded him, and he sent the twelve men, all the tribal leaders, from their camp into the wilderness of Paran. So Moses gave these men these instructions. Go north through the Negev into the hill country. See what the land is like and find out whether the people living there are strong or weak. If there's a law or a little. See what kind of land do they live in? Is it good? Is it bad? Do the towns have walls or are they unprotected and just open like camps? Is the soil fertile or poor? Do your best to bring back samples of the crops you see. When they came to the valley, they cut down a branch with a single cluster of grapes so that it took two of them to carry it with a pole between them. They also brought back samples of pomegranates and figs. The place was called the Valley of Eshkol, which means cluster, because their cluster of grapes the Israelite men cut there. After exploring the land for 40 days, the men returned, showed them the fruits that they had taken from the land, and this was their report to Moses. We entered the land as you sent us to explore it, and it is indeed a bountiful country with land flowing with milk and honey. Here is the fruit it produces. But the people living there are powerful, and their towns are large and fortified. We even saw giants there. When Caleb heard this, he tried to quiet the people that stood before Moses. And he said, let's go at once to conquer the land. We can certainly conquer it. But the other men who had explored the land with him disagreed. We can't go up against those men. They're stronger than we are. So they spread this bad report all over the land among the Israelites and word traveled super fast. They were scared. They wondered, how are we going to be able to do this? They're strong. What are we going to do? And this bad report spread and everyone was afraid and everyone thought that they couldn't do it. Then the whole community began weeping and they cried all night and they wondered, why is the Lord doing this? Why are we going through this? What are we going to do? Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb said to all the people, the land we traveled through is a wonderful land. And if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into the land and give it to us. It is rich flowing with milk and honey. Don't rebel against the Lord. Don't be afraid of the people that live there. They are only prey to us. We can beat them. They have no protection, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. But the whole community still talked bad about the land and they still talked bad about God. And now they were talking bad about Joshua and Caleb because they told them that they could do it. As you can see, the people were having no faith whatsoever in God and they let their fear control them. They could no longer see clearly and they already forgot that God has been with them every single step of the way and that God has been the one freeing them until now. But they had let their fear control them. Now they didn't think they could do it. They didn't believe God was there. But Caleb and Joshua remained brave followers. They trusted and obeyed God. It's not easy being a brave follower of God. You have to be able to trust in him and obey him. You have to be able to read the Bible. You have to be able to pray and help others. This is not always easy to do. Sometimes you're going to be too tired. Sometimes you're gonna be scared. Do you ever find it hard to do these things? In the end, the other spies were not allowed to enter this promised land and Joshua and Caleb were because they trusted in God and they were faithful. So let's read a Bible verse that I really want to share to you today. It's in Psalms 56 3 and it says, but when I am afraid I will put my trust in you. 
Whenever we're afraid, we can't put the trust in ourselves. We can't put the trust in our friends. We can't put it anywhere else but God. God is going to be the one that guides us and keeps us safe every day. So as this Bible verse says, I want you guys to remember it. I want you guys to remember it when you're feeling a little scared, when you're feeling a little tired, whenever you feel like you can't have strength anymore to trust and obey God. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's lesson. I hope that you learned a lot about Joshua and Caleb and I hope they inspired you to not be afraid but to trust in God when you're afraid. It's okay to be a little scared but let's not let that fear control us like it controlled the 10 other spies because when we trust in God he will reward us and he will show us the way. It doesn't matter if you're afraid, if you're tired, if whatever you're feeling, God is going to help you through it. And now we're going to move on to the activity. 